If you were driving down Huron Street in downtown Toledo around 1944, you wouldn't be driving down a one-way street. And this is what you might see and hear. These people are WSPD radio people filing out of 136 Huron Street, now the new home of public broadcasting in Toledo, Channel 30. Construction of the building began in the early 20s. Its formidable colonial strap work was designed by a San Francisco architect who made sure the structure could withstand a 0.8 on the Richter scale. Serving as an office building and then as a bank building, it was owned by the National Supply Company, when in 1938 it was purchased by the Fort Industry Company, the foundation for the present store Communications Incorporated, the parent company of WTVG 13 Strong. Fort Industry donned the building broadcast house, as it would soon house their WSPD radio operation. Years, the voice of By 1940, the building was renamed the J. Harold Ryan Building after this gentleman. Ryan, a prominent Toledo businessman, was then serving as chief of the broadcast division for Fort Industry. The nation became hooked on radio in the 40s, and through these studios and control rooms, Toledoans enjoyed their favorite show. WSPD's Homemakers Institute, conducted by Norman Commercials. Chesterfield, here you are, sir. And the news with Jim Ubelhart. And many a Toledo evening could be spent listening and jiving to the big band sounds live from the Shalimar Room at the just around the corner Commodore Perry Hotel. In 1948, the WSPD TV test pattern came on the air from 136 Huron. Now people could see what they were hearing. Some of the earliest local remotes were the first telecasts of baseball in Toledo from Swain Field, home of the Toledo Mud Hens. And most Toledoans today still remember Frank Venner's Weather in the Weather cast right outside the front door. For almost 40 years now, 136 Huron Street has served as an earmark to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of our community. The faces and the names have changed, but the commitment has not. WSPD, now WTVG, was privileged to serve this public interest from these hallowed halls for many years. It is with pride and pleasure through the J. Harold Ryan building that the legacy is passed on.